Hey girl, it's Ryan Morrell, and girl, in today's video, I will be showing you what is in my iPhone 11 plus an iPhone 11 unboxing. Before we begin, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, girl, I would love to have you be a part of our little family. So make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. So let's start with the unboxing. I have to say that I got way too excited when I got my phone. I thought I would be able to like have some self-control and like not touch it until like the weekend when I can actually film it professionally but um yeah I do not have that kind of self-control as a result my unboxing video is um it's not the best <laughs> my phone got delivered like really late at night so the lighting and just the whole cinematography situation of the unboxing montage just isn't great so let's roll the clip hello I am currently editing the video you're watching right now and I was about to insert the unboxing clip until I realized that I forgot to transfer the video from my old iPhone to my laptop which i thought i did but i must have forgotten and i can't do it anymore because my old iphone has been reset so instead i'm gonna stage an unboxing for you guys i'm just gonna film it again it's not gonna be authentic obviously but it is gonna be better quality since i'm gonna film it with my camera so i'm really sorry but let's roll the clip Here is my phone! Yeah, so before we hop into the what's in my iPhone, let's just talk about this little girl. I was like, little guy? Little girl? <laughs> this baby right here. So I got the iPhone 11 in black, and some of you might be wondering, why didn't you get the iPhone Pro Max or the iPhone Pro? Well, girl, it's very simple. It all boils down to budget. <laughs> Honestly, like for me, I feel like the differences between the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro were not convincing enough for me to spend like an extra 20,000 pesos on it. So I just stuck with the iPhone 11 Pro not the iPhone 11 Pro, the iPhone 11. And I got it in black because I'm just a very basic girl. I like it to look very classic. And I'm not going to lie, I am one of those basic people who literally bought the iPhone because of the camera. Yeah, a wide lens is something that I've been wanting for a long time. I'm just so happy that it's here. So yeah, but before we get into the unboxing, of course, we need to snap a case on this girl so she doesn't break because we spent too much money on her. Um, And I am so excited to show you guys my new case from Maison de Sabre. My high school and middle school French teachers are shaking right now because of that terrible pronunciation. It is an Australian brand and they make, as you can see, the most beautiful leather monogram cases. And if you know me, you'll know that black and gold is literally my aesthetic. And also it's monogrammed. And again, if you know me, you'll know that I love anything personalized. I just like seeing my name on things. I'm a narcissist that way. <laughs> Let's just snap her on there. Really snug, compact, nice fit. <laughs> it just looks so pretty. Look at it, girl. I am literally so obsessed with it. I will link their shop and this specific case down below in case you want to check it out. So I'm going to start screen recording. So when you open my phone, this is my wallpaper and I am so obsessed with it. It is by one of my favorite graphic designers who I found on Pinterest. And I think it's just so cute and I'm really obsessed with this wallpaper. So let us enter the phone. So I only have two windows or two pages on my phone because I don't like swiping a lot. Like I want to see my apps right away. I don't want it to be like da, 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 to find my app, you know. Then let's start with the left side first so on top i have my favorites and of course it's my parents call and text because i always 
call and message them and then I have the weather I check the weather a minimum of four times a day because it is so hot in Manila right now which I don't understand because it is literally like October no it's November it's November 1st happy November 1st every single day I check the weather in hopes that it's gonna rain in the next hour um, so that's why I have it there it's super convenient and then I have my Merriam-Webster word of the day I just like to learn a new word every day just like a little brain teaser moment and today's word is apocryphal of doubtful authenticity and then I have my news which I don't really read often but it's nice to know it's there if I want to be updated and then I have the battery which I actually use a lot because for the new iPhone I think for the iPhone X above you can't tell the specific battery percentage that you're on and then also for my airpods i find that it's really helpful for that because again you can't tell how much battery you have in your airpods by looking at the airpods alone now let's go to the actual apps i have actually been an apple user for a while now ever since like the iphone 4 so there are some apps here that i've been using like ever ever since my og apps it's over in the bottom so in the bottom i have my most used apps we have safari of course we have the call phone app you have spotify which i oh this is my favorite song at the moment good as hell by lizzo let's play it i do my hair toss check my nails baby how you feeling feeling good as hell <laughs> so it's actually my first time using Spotify before I used to use just regular like Apple music I download music on my Mac I transfer it to iTunes and I sync it to my phone But for some reason when I activated this phone and I connected it to my laptop it did show on iTunes I don't know why but I got really annoyed and I just didn't want to bother so I was like whatever I'm just gonna download Spotify and I got Spotify premium so that I can download the songs and still access them offline and it's so much more hassle-free because I can just click and it's downloaded. Um, and then we have the camera. Okay, let's play with the camera real quick. Okay, my room's a mess, I'm sorry. But look at this. Ooh, look at that wide though. Look at that wide. I am obsessed with this. Even um, the video, you can make it wide. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so now let's go to the actual apps. We'll start with the first page, which I'm gonna admit is a little bit boring. Um, it's a lot of the apps that actually come with a phone, so I'm not gonna open those anymore and like talk about them in depth because you probably know what they look like. So how I organize my apps is I put my most used apps on top and on the right hand side so that it's easy for my thumb to access. First we have calendar because I like just immediately seeing what day it is. Um, we also have mail, messages, photos. Damn it. Yeah, a lot of these are already on my Instagram. So follow me there. <laughs> um, and then I have my contacts, reminders, notes. These are both still empty because I've only had this phone for three days. This is my third day with this phone. Um, then I have my clock. I set a lot of random alarms there's not a lot in here right now because i just got this phone but in my old phone i had so 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 many alarms i don't use an alarm to wake up because i'm fortunate enough that my classes start really late this semester and i just have a natural like early body clock i'm a natural morning person i wake up at 5 30 even though my class starts at 11 so i don't need an alarm but i do need an alarm for like random stuff like this like unplug fan pack a white shirt and also alarms to tell me that i need to get to class and then i have facetime weather we have miriam webster which is really great especially when my family and i don't show this again when my family and i play scrabble and someone puts a word that doesn't really exist girl we got miriam webster to fact check you i have my calculator which i also use a lot usually to convert from dollar to peso when I'm online window shopping then I have the app store I have grab which I haven't used in a while see I haven't even activated it yet voice memos again empty haven't even <laughs> opened it the watch for my Apple watch then we have some miscellaneous apps first we have CNN so I actually don't open the CNN app but I do turn on notifications for like major global news events so at least I'm aware of what's going on in the world you know gotta stay woke <laughs> I have the globe one app and the globe rewards app okay so this is not sponsored but I've been a globe user 
ever since I owned an iPhone, which is a while back. And I use a Globe One app to track my LTE usage because I always go over. I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> um, and then I have my Globe Rewards, which allows you to claim rewards. And my points I usually use to buy more Wi-Fi so I don't go over my LTE. And then I have BDO banking for, you know, online shopping. You have the Starbucks app. You have PayPal, which I only use for like international like brand deals. Find my iPhone Waze. I don't drive, but I use Waze to estimate like how much time I have to get ready. I have music, which again, I don't use anymore. We have books, Telegram. Telegram, I only have because sometimes people like to send photos via Telegram because apparently the photo quality is better. I don't know how true that is, but I just have that there. We have health, wallet, shortcuts, which I still have to play with. Measure files, iMovie, which I also have to play with because I find it cool how there's like iMovie for your iPhone. We have clips, compass, and maps. And then the next folder, we have health and fitness because she's a healthy and fit girl. No, she's not, but she's trying to be and that's why I have this folder. So we have activity, we have m.cycles, which is a period tracker. Right now it's not accurate. It's not my period day two because again, I just got this phone. So I think I'll need like two months and then it'll start being accurate. But I really like this period tracker because for me, it's just the most seamless one. It's just very easy to use and then I have workouts plus which I used to use but um, I haven't worked out the last time I worked out was summer which is like three months ago but I use this because you can like make your own workout and then add your own stuff and it's really nice because it's like instead of having to use a timer all the time you can just be like right get ready 10 seconds and then like plant for one minute rest for 10 seconds burpees for 10 10 minutes oh god so I really like this and then I have Zero, which is an intermittent fasting app. I used to intermittent fast two years ago and I haven't since, but I really want to get back to doing it. That's why I have it here so I can be motivated. And my fitness pal just tracks your calories, which again, I used to use like two years ago and I haven't since then. But again, I want to start using it again. That's why I have these here. Then I have my devotion app. So I have the Bible. And I like this because it also sends you a verse of the day. So you have the word of the day and the verse of the day. Then I have Read Scripture, which is like a Bible study app. It just tells you like what to read per day. And then we have Our Daily Bread, which my family and I use. Um, it's not downloaded yet. Let's download it. Which my family and I use every single night for our nightly devotions. And then I have Day One, which is a journaling app, which I have not used yet, but I really want to get into the habit of journaling just because I feel like it'll be super fun to look back on when I'm like older, but I haven't started that either. It's okay. Well, we're just going to set these goals for 2020. <laughs> and then we have my settings, which Oh, this is my Memoji, by the way. I, I, I love it. <laughs> now to the fun apps. So I have my Facebook. Then I have my Messenger, very important. I have my Twitter. All I do on Twitter is scroll and like. I never like retweet or post anything. I don't know, like I still don't know how to use Twitter, as weird as that may sound. I know people are like, just tweet what's on your mind. Like, I don't know. I feel like people's tweets are just so funny. My tweets are gonna be so lame. That's all I do on Twitter, but if you wanna follow me, it's at Ryan Morel. Oh look, Jeffree Star. I am so excited for his collab with Shane. I binge watched the entire series. Then we have my Instagram. There she is. Anyways, yeah, follow me on Instagram if you want to. Then I have my mail, and then I have WhatsApp, which I use a lot for like my YouTube friends, my YouTube next up family. Yeah, we're all about WhatsApp. This usually gets like 300 notifications in a day because there's just a lot going on in those chats. Then I have Viber, which I use mainly for my family and also for like church stuff. And then I have Netflix, which I use all the time. Um, let's see. Right now, I am watching Modern Family. I've actually finished Modern Family, but I didn't have anything else to watch, so I just rewatched it. And now I'm almost done rewatching it too. I tried watching Insatiable, but I'm not like super into it. And that's why I'm just at episode three. I don't think I'm going to be watching it to be honest. And then we have Snapchat, which I don't use to like actually communicate. I actually stopped using my actual Snapchat where I would like snap people because I was just getting too many like street notifications. So I made a completely new Snapchat where I am not friends with anyone. And I only use Snapchat for the filters. If you go here, I mean, there's no Wi-Fi right now. Now, but usually they have really nice filters and that's why 
I use it. And then I have Lightroom. It's my favorite photo editing app. I use it more on my laptop. I like the Lightroom app for the MacBook rather than the iPhone. But this is really nice for just like quick edits. Some of you were asking for like a what's in my iPhone video. I know for like a how I edit my photos video. So if you want to see that, just tell me. Then we have YouTube. <laughs> then we have YouTube Studio, which is for YouTube creators. And it's really nice because it gives you like your analytics. Okay, and then we have YouTube, of course. Yeah, there's nothing here as well. And then we have my photo and video editing apps. So we have RNA Films, which I like to use to add the dust effect, like that. You even see a difference there. Um, and then I have Sparkle Cam, which I like using for the sparklies. There! Yeah. And then we have Daz Cam, which is like a vintage camera, which I haven't used yet. Let's try this. I don't even know. It's my first time using it. Oh, there's. Okay. And then we have Visco. Visco girl? No, not a Visco girl at all. I haven't used Visco since I discovered Lightroom, but I just think Visco is really nice if you want to mass edit. If you want to edit like 30 photos and put the same filter on them, I think Visco is great for that. Also, now that I'm looking at it, um, the filters aren't that nice. <laughs> okay, and then we have Snapseed, which I really like for target editing. For example, I want to brighten just this shoe specifically. There, look. And then I didn't have to touch the rest of the photo. And then we have Canon Camera Connect, which is what I use to connect my camera to my phone if I want to quickly transfer some files. It's DJI Mimo, which is for my Osmo Pocket. And then we have Pinterest, which I also love for like wallpapers or for inspiration for like outfits or hair. And then we have school. So first we have Quizlet. If you've watched me for a while, you know that I love Quizlet. There, I have a bunch of sets because I use this a lot. Then we have Drive, which is really great for just accessing all our documents. We have Google Docs. Okay, I'm just gonna open these slides again. Just these Google apps are super convenient because you can edit on the go and edit on your phone. Hangouts, I use Hangouts for my YouTube meetings because this is what they prefer over there at Google, at YouTube. So I have this app for that. And then I have Translate, which is really helpful for travel. And then I have Duolingo. And Duolingo is like an app for learning languages. I took five years of French and I'm worried that I'm gonna forget everything. And I feel like it's such a waste if you study something for five years and you're just gonna forget because you don't practice it anymore. So I'm trying to kind of just like keep it alive through this app. And I'm also planning on learning Chinese, which my dad is doing using this app as well. We don't know what's gonna happen in the future. I feel like it's gonna be super helpful to know how to speak Chinese. <laughs> and then we have my games. I really pick my games and when I pick my game, I like lock into it and put all of my energy into that. So we have Wordscapes. I am in level 1434. That's what I mean when I say that I really commit to my games, girl. I am loyal. <laughs> and then I have Cooking Madness, which I'm at, I think at like level 400, but it is not yet synced. I've been trying to sync it to my Facebook. That's where I saved my progress from my last phone, but it's just like not working. So if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna delete this app because I am not starting at level one again. And then I have Snake versus Block, which I just started playing two days ago. And I am so obsessed with it. So obsessed that I'm already in level 166. And it's my second day playing. Comment down below if you play this game and what your high score is and we can battle each other. <laughs> yeah, that is everything on my phone. I'm gonna stop recording. But anyway, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next week for another video. And always remember, you're just as beautiful with makeup as you are without. Bye.